exponential decay model. Systems that exhibit exponential decay behave according to the model y equals y naught e to the negative kt, where y naught represents the initial state of the system and k is greater than zero is a constant called the decay constant. Now, this problem below says if a relic contains 90% as much radiocarbon as new material, can it have come from the time of Christ approximately 2,000 years ago? Note that the half-life of radiocarbon is 5,730 years. So what we're going to do is we're going to use that fact just like we did for the first problem we did with the growth. There really isn't a difference here except for this negative K here. And that generally comes out as soon as you set these up. Um, you don't really have to be concerned about, oh, is it negative or positive? Usually that initial condition that we have that helps us to find our K um, determines if it's going to be positive or negative, and it just comes out. And we're going to use this note first, that the half-life of radiocarbon is 5,730 years. So what I can say here is I can say a half of P equals P times E to the negative K, 5,730 years. So again, um, I used P instead of Y naught. So it doesn't really matter the variable you use. Just make sure that you're okay with that. So the first thing I'm going to do is divide by T P both of these. So I get 1 half equals e to the negative, and I'll say 5,730k. Now I have to ln both sides. So I get the ln of 1 half equals ln of e to the negative 5,730k. So on the right, they cancel, and on the left, I just keep the ln. So the ln of 1 half equals negative 5730k. So then I divide by the neg negative 5730 on both sides. And that's going to be my constant. So this k results in 0.0, .0 Twenty three, one two zero nine six, eight blah blah blah. That's what my k ends up being, and then it says if it contains ninety percent as much radiocarbon as new material, can it have come from the Christ approximately two thousand years ago? Note that the half life of radioactive carbon is five thousand seven hundred thirty years. So this would be my k for the general equation now. So what I mean by that is my actual k is going to be y equals y naught e to the negative 0 0.0001201968t. So that's what the formula is. Now from there, we can talk about the rest of this problem. So to be 90%, that means we would have 0.9 of the original component of P And this is e to the negative 0 0.00012968. And for t, I'm just, that's what I'm solving for here. So first, I'm going to divide by p. Divide by p. So I have 0 0.9. And that's going to equal e to the negative 0 0.00012968t. And then I'm going to ln both sides. So the ln of 0 0.9 equals ln of e, negative 0 0.00012096.8t. And then those are going to cancel on the right. So I get the ln of 0 0.9 equals negative 0 0.00. 
6AT. And then I'm just going to divide by that number negative 1001.2. So T equals ln of 0.9 over 0120968. And what that gives me for T is... So then my T would be 870.9777 years, which is not close to 2,000 years. So that tells me the relic didn't come from 2,000 years ago. It came from almost 900 years.